journey, you know, that's actually really important not to go overboard because you only halfway home. Well, I, 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 I was thinking about it as you said that and as we said it, Chuck. I only can compare it to a game six to get to the game seven. Yes, exactly. So, but we came in the locker room after game six and went crazy. Hey, hey, Clark. We did. I just want to say seven. something before you got here. Yeah. And Ernie said you were on the radio. Uh -huh. And Kenny said that's good because you got a face for radio. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, that was just like get out of the ball. Let's the it, show with the ball. You see, I can stab you in the back when you're not around. <laughs> <laughs> Before we do the highlight, let me just point this out to you. They've been using the shot clock since 1986 oh, in the tonight. NCAA tournament. This is the first time since using the shot clock that all four teams on this day scored under 65 points. And you know what? It's going to happen again on Monday, I too. Would, I, would, I would think so, Gary. <laughs> I would think so. In the shot clock room. Yeah, wow. in the college tournament. That's amazing. And uh, here are the highlights of this one as these two defensive-minded teams go to work and Matt McQuaid are next down in early three. Well, in fairness, at halftime, we were supposed to have a great defense, but it wasn't. It was bad offense. Now, I, I, think I would disagree with you. I thought it was outstanding defense. I was down there courtside, Chuck, and the physicality, the closing of the gaps, it was excellent work, particularly by Texas Tech. Active hands and feet, not a lot of open shots available. Cassius Winston cashes in there. 23 21 at the half. Texas Tech. Well, that's just a great defense, I guess. Tyler Edwards there and one made the free throw. And then Matt Moody, the guy you're talking about, Chuck. He was the guy who got him going. He hit three or four threes in a row, and that's actually what got the separation. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a heat check right here. Yeah, it was, no doubt. Yeah. So he is on fire. Yep, he was still care because Copper was. Well, the word I'm thinking, he was bad, man. Until it mattered. Until it mattered. But Mooney was to start his game for Texas Tech. You got to give him a lot of love. Yes, they, you do. They would lead by 13, but boy, Michigan State came right back at him. Huge turnover there. In fact, they cut it to one here. This is the huge shot that right there. Dagger. That was a dagger right there. But he also made a two-point field goal after Michigan State had cut it to yeah, one. They he got to that rough. They went to it in isolation. He, to he got that floater up and down. And, you know, Clark, Coach Beard does a fantastic thing. As a guy who got doubled all the time, 